testing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, it's day two, I guess. And the odd thing is back home at 6.50 in the morning, um, which is weird. So it technically hasn't even been 24 hours since I've been here, but it feels like I've been here like days, I guess. It's kind of odd. Uh, but yeah, let's check out uh, the hotel room now and see how it's done. Then I have some time to relax here. And it has been relaxing. Uh, I don't know if the, I guess the daylight savings ended, so we lost an hour of sleep, but whatever it was, I feel totally rested. I, I got up at about eight, um, which would have been actually technically seven, say if I lost the hour of sleep, I don't probably need these. Um, so yeah, seven hours of sleep and I felt fine. So it's just, it's weird getting used to like straight, seven or more hours of sleep per night. Uh, that's been a while since I've done that, but uh, all right, let's see how the room's doing. Okie dokie, I actually do have the TV on. Underwear and t-shirt, interesting, but this is uh, football, because it's football Sunday. So I've uh, been watching a little bit of football. I muted a lot because of the commercials, but it's just, yeah, it's so early. It's weird being in a place where football starts so early. But, uh, start from the back. The shower was pretty nice. I definitely liked taking a nice shower, a nice big shower head there. I would say not a lot of water, but that's fine with me. I like the fact that they don't waste those mini bottles. And, oh, towel hooks, that's what those things are. <laughs> uh, yeah, and then I got uh, my whole setup and this thing is losing its strength. Let me go ahead and tighten this down. Um, shaving, I actually, if I'm going to be here more than one day, I, I don't mind shaving. And then uh, I got some, again, this was uh, water and just I brought my uh, flavoring pack. So it kind of yeah, it makes it more fun to drink. This is actually the toothbrush from the kit that had the, uh, the business class kit that was on my last flight. Not the one coming here, but the week before. So I thought I'll try them out and it works fine. This kind of seems like maybe this is a biodegradable material. I'm not sure I'd like to research that, meaning I mean, not this, of course, this is plastic, but I can use that for like this vacation and then just toss it. But I don't, I don't like wasting that. Um, yeah, so that works fine. And same wall, same way you can see me. Uh, all right, so I kind of get everything laid out. Uh, clothes I've used to go in here and then clothes, up and coming clothes go here for the game. Funny story, I was like searching for 20 minutes to find this cap this morning and I could not find a 20 minutes of exaggeration. Right? It was like five minutes at least. I couldn't find it. I thought, oh, did I leave it the Lion King? Because that would have made sense. I took uh, the coat and cap off to see the show and then maybe it just didn't get back on me. And I checked my photos to see if I had any photos wearing it afterwards. I, d I didn't have any photos of me afterwards, so I couldn't see. But then Finally, it was like under the chair or something. I was like, oh yeah, because it would have been just disappointing. Not so much for the game today. I mean, I think I will wear it to the game today, but the fact that uh, um, just the waste and just the sad waste for no good reason. Uh, but I'll also bring this. I don't know what I'll wear yet. I don't know. We'll see. That keeps me warm too. And gloves. I actually am bringing the gloves. Uh, funny, I, I buy this junk food. I never end up eating very much of it. I don't know why I buy it. I just think, oh, I'm going to get really hungry. This came in handy. This is a, uh, yeah, just a sub. I got that at 7-Eleven. And this morning, I ate half of it. I don't need the whole thing. Um, I did use the Keurig coffee maker and made a cup of coffee. I could probably take out this now because this has been used. And we can throw that away. Um, okay. That's about it. And I only really use half the bed, and the other, the other half I use for just storage. But I brought my charging, slow charging uh, thing, wireless charging, but technically this is much faster, so I often you just end up using that. Oh, yeah, it does say 1054. So, yeah, these clocks, well, I'm not going to set it. I'm not going to worry about it. My phone tells me the right time, and that's all I need to go with. So, yeah, this is a nice room. I would say this is definitely warrants a four-star because there's nothing major um, wrong with it. I think I saw the only thing I thought was like there's some fraying on here. Yeah, yeah, that's got some fraying there. So that could be replaced, but it's a cool view. Uh, I like the view. I mean, could you obviously could be better, but it's unique. It's like it's, it's a I don't know. It's fine. And then that, again, there's that little place up there, way up there. I want to see if I can get to. 
that we come so cool. All right, so that's just a few minutes to the hotel room. Oh, look, football's back. Woohoo! I will be at the game in a few hours. So that's going to be exciting. Um, oh, yeah, the funny it comes on now. I set it to 72 last night. And then um, when I went out, when I came back, I set it to like, seven, yeah, I think it was like 72 or 74 this morning. And it was never... I don't know, it didn't actually heat up, but it wasn't freezing, but it never got above 70, which is what the room was when I started. It turns out I just didn't have the thing set to on or to heat. It just, I set the temperature, but it didn't have it on. So funny how those things work. And now it definitely is working and warming up. And I just, I like a, I like a warm room, I guess. I don't know why, but uh, all right. So there you can kind of see, if I go to wide angle, you can definitely see how uh, big the room is. Oh, not too much, yeah. I would say this is a this is a fine four star room, though so definitely more than three, not quite five. Five is like when you just get a bunch of extra perks, but I uh, I'm happy here. It's expensive, but it's it works. All right, peace out. It's nine something, I guess I can't tell. Hey Siri, what time is it? No, I can't tell. Actually, I can. Uh, 10.35, 10.39, so 9.39. So, 9 30, not very late, technically, but oh, I feel tired. It is a long day. I'm going to the game today and then um, a show. Yeah, so fun day. Definitely fun. It would have been better than the, the Raiders won, granted, but uh, still fun. Cool people out there. It is exciting. To, sporting events are the, uh, a very unique um, nature type of people, but it was fun. Uh, yeah, so good, good day, very busy day. So even nine o'clock, almost ten, I'm just exhausted. So I could fall asleep very fast, so I probably will. And then tomorrow, I need to check out and then go to the airport and then work from the airport. Uh, it'll be a work day for me. So work from home, just happen to be in New York, oh, technically New Jersey, so I'll be at the airport. And we'll work there and then fly home and then do this all again next weekend with some different shows. So it'll be fun. Good times, my friends. Good times. Look at that. I'm like an angel. Look at the little halo. An angel. Uh, that could get annoying, so I'll go ahead and scooch. Scoot up. We'll try this again. Uh, apparently, the alarm turns off the recording. And there I am as an angel once again. Cool. All right. Uh, I should probably just adjust it so I don't have that problem. Yep, I still have that problem. Uh, I could just close those. Th All right, third time is a charm. I have closed the drapes, so the halo effect is no longer going on. It is Monday, the third day of the New York experience. And oh, was I gonna mention uh, yesterday? Just one word yesterday. Yesterday was uh, game day, of course. One of the reasons I came out <clears throat> was to see the football game. And it was a fun game, exciting. And it would have been better if the Raiders had not really blown it. I just can't get over that. Uh, yeah, but lots of Raiders fans there and lots of Giants fans. It was about 80% uh, full. There were a lot of open seats. So I think a lot of people have given up on the Giants this season which until yesterday was probably a good idea, but now that uh, the Cowboys lost, the Redskins never win. Um, Philadelphia, I think, lost, or they have a bye. I don't remember what happened there, but uh, Giants may still be in the hunt. Who knows, it might be one of the, yeah, it, that's like one of the worst divisions, so. Anyway, but it, I will mention, it was the quietest football game I had ever been to by far. It was just, I mean, a few times there was some noise, but I was just, didn't even need the earplugs. It was just so quiet. I mean, they were yelling. It just didn't have that same stadium. Like if you go to Seahawks and even the Niners, uh, Levi Stadium, it was just kind of quiet. So, but hey, the fans are worth eighty percent. Fans were there, so I give them that. They came out to a team that probably won't make the playoffs at least before yesterday. Now maybe they will. Uh, so that was the football game. Now for the show. So I had to pretty much go straight from the football game to the show. Uh, that was The Alchemist, Le Alchemist, um, yeah. and someone said they read the book. I don't think it's the same alchemy, it's a common word, at least it used to be, um, but 
it, I don't think it's from a book. I think it's just a, it's a play. It's a funny little comedy. I didn't know anything about it. I thought it was a drama, but it is a comedy and it's funny. It's got, they got some lots of stuff going. It's a very quick comedy, lots of ins and outdoors and uh, disguises and, you know, surprises. And yeah, it's a nice fun, um, good place to see a show. I've been actually to that place before. Uh, saw Peter and the Starcatcher there years ago. So when that was kind of an up and coming off Broadway show, You'll see that in local theaters in the near future. Um, yeah, so I, I had a good time. And funny, another sippy cup. Uh, it's, it's pretty nice. It has a little closing, open and closing lid. And the funny thing is just, uh, they, I don't know. These, so they're not really disposable. I mean, this is hard plastic. This is like not meant to, I just don't know what you do with it now. Do I, if I come back to the show again or future shows, do I just bring my own cup and say, fill this? Um, because I don't know, it just, it just struck me. It's like, it's kind of cool, but what do I do with it? And then the Lion King one, now Lion King at least has like a souvenir. Um, and it's a cool cup too, it has a sliding thing. So yeah, this is good for carrying drinks around. But again, what do I do with it? Do I just keep it? I mean, it's a good, this could be a car travel mug for maybe eating coffee or something. So, although, you know, I was thinking before I drop my pen, I was thinking that uh, I get, this is the second time I've gotten one of these bags. Not that it's uh, unique to New York, but I just got it at the, even at the 7-Eleven and I mean, it's a, it's a strong, it's definitely reusable. So I just hate to keep, I mean, I hate to keep paying for these things because I know they charge a little extra and then just throwing them right away because it's wasteful. So I think this one, I will keep it in my travel bag. And then if you want to come in the future, if I go to 7-Eleven or something like that, then I will at least have a bag I can bring in. So there's a little less waste. I'll do my part. Um, yeah. So, uh, what else was I going to mention in the minutes? Um, yeah, as far as sleep last night was weird. I just, I woke up, I would say half a dozen times, just kept waking up every 40 minutes or so. Um, no real reason. I was just, I was kind of because I was pretty well rested, but I, I knew I wasn't rested enough. It's like, it's only been three hours. And I definitely need more sleep than that. I don't even know what time I got to bed. Uh, yeah, I have no idea. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Oh, and then I woke up at one point and I checked my phone. Maybe it was this morning and I realized I've been bumped to first class on the way home. So that's really excited. Really excited. That's really exciting. Um, so that was cool. So first class, yay. So that, that's what makes it worth it. Because so far I haven't got a first class bump on a long flight like this. Seattle flights, yeah. But this actually makes it a huge difference. It's not a live flopped bed, but it's still much more comfortable. So the flight home will be a lot more exciting. Even free booze, but I can't really drink because I got to drive when I get home. Um, and it is Monday night. Uh, yeah, so I was excited about that. But I think the sleeping issue was that I had the heater on and it's a weird heater it doesn't really function i don't know because it was heater was said like 72 or something and it was 70 so but it wasn't hadn't didn't have heat so it could never get to 72 because there's no extra heat being put out so the fan stayed on all night which i could have turned off and i thought oh, this is that kind of white noise it can be helpful actually for sleeping but maybe it was just a little too loud um and maybe that was one reason i couldn't get into a deeper sleep but Oh well, and then in the morning I finally like pumped it up a few more knots, like this knots, uh, notches to 75, and then it went on for, I only needed about 15, 20 minutes, and I'm like, okay, now I'm warm. I just like to be warm for a little bit, and then I just turn it completely off. And funny, I'll probably open the window a little bit, or the slide door that opens a crack just to get the noise and the air from the city. Right now though, I have to go find bagels. So that is gonna be in the morning. There's a bagel shop right down the street. I'm gonna try it out and see. Some New York bagel. I'm very excited about that. And this was the Keurig coffee, um, which I could even make one more cup. So maybe I will. I wish I had better news about the bagel um, quest, but alas, the line was huge. Um, I'd say there's probably like 40 people there. So I, uh, yeah, I don't like waiting in lines if I don't have to, and um, for food especially. If I'm with other people and they want to wait, then I don't mind waiting. But for me. Like, I don't have to eat it that badly. And I might just try back on my way out. Maybe uh, it'll, the line will thin down a little. If it's uh, locals and it look like a lot of locals, then they're getting their breakfast and go to work. If it's tourists, then yeah, that line may not ever go down. It looked like it smelled very nice and just looked really cool. I would love to try it, but again, 
with 40 people, you don't know if that's going to be a you know 15 minute wait or a half hour or longer. So I just can't. Yeah, I got other things I want to do. So we'll check back. But it did look pretty good. Um, and again, I could do the room service, but eh, I don't. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see.